So I wake up this morning to this. Account warning. That big red smudge of dreaded text. That scar on your page. That constant reminder of all of those sleepless nights you've had. A nightmare becoming reality. Why? So why have I gotten this iron brand? Why is my account getting banned? Is it getting banned? Have I appealed? Firstly, I just want to point out this has absolutely nothing to do with the other TikTok rant I did the other day. Like seriously, I'm literally editing that video right now. The world has not seen it yet. It's just a coincidence that two annoying things to do with TikTok have occurred within a week. Maybe they're links, but I don't want to look into it too much. So I have three banned videos on my account. And I feel like all of these bans are invalid. Now, of course, I'm going to say that. They're my videos. But seriously, hear me out. <sighs> Video number one on the list. It's from when I went clubbing on my 18th birthday, and here's the video. <laughs> this got taken down for minor safety. For context, this video was posted on the 13th of March, 24 hours after I turned 18. Now, okay, I understand what happened here, and it is just a computer error, as I had literally just turned 18. My account's age hadn't updated just yet, so TikTok still saw my account as a minor his account. So yeah, fair enough. It's just a mistake, isn't it? And I appealed it, but it got denied. <sighs> we are deeply committed to child safety and we have a zero tolerance for predatory or grooming behaviour towards minors. We also do not allow content depicting minors engaging in delinquent behaviour. You know, I completely agree with all of these points. And, you know, I agree that all of these are very valid guidelines. That's not the issue. The issue is, there were no minors in that video. It's literally a nightclub. You can't go in unless you're 18. And it's just the fact that I'd explained the situation, that I'd explained what happened with my age having a delay in updating. I, I even offered to send over a copy of my ID, but they just denied it. So, yeah, I'd class the first violation as invalid. Okay, now on to the second violation. Now, if I'm honest, out of all of these, this is definitely the most fair one to have a strike. I still don't think it deserves a strike, but I'd say it's probably the one that comes closest to violating the community guidelines out of all three of the videos that have been taken down. It's just a joke I made replying to a comment. Bit of UK banter, really. And it got removed for harassment and bullying. Here's the video. <laughs> I'm convinced this is one of those Americans who say that they're Irish because their next door neighbour's great great uncle's half brother was Irish but they're not really Irish the same way that this person's just American who thinks they're British. That's the only explanation to anyone ever saying anything like this. Like, I can see where this issue is coming from but I certainly wouldn't call that harassment or bullying. Still, okay, fair enough. If that one got taken down, I would say fair enough. But the weirdest thing is, I appealed that after it did get taken down and they approved it. They restored the video. This was ages ago and despite it being my most worthy video of getting a strike, they removed the strike. So why is it here? <laughs> like, if the strike got taken down and the video got restored, what's the problem? Why is it on these lists with the three strikes when the strike got removed? And finally, the last strike, strike number three. This is a video I made for TikTok to promote my replying to scam emails YouTube video that I did the other day. I don't really see how this violates any of the guidelines. Now I'm one of those people who absolutely loves it when you get a scam email. I'm very much with the perspective of if you're wasting my time, I'm gonna waste yours. Please contact Miss Harper and tell her how to send the amount to you. Does not look suspicious one bit. Here is my identification, McLovin. And then when I look for the reason on the app, the violation reasons are just listed as community guidelines. Like, it doesn't even give me a solid answer. Like, that, that's the least I deserve. And if it just got removed for mentioning the words spam and scam, or maybe it's because it was a prank, or maybe because I was pranking scammers, then I think someone ought to remove Mark Rober. I am sorry if this video has come across as rather heated. I'm just quite angry and upset that I could lose my TikTok over an algorithm making a mistake repeated times. I've worked so hard to build up my account. It would be so demolishing to have to start from square one again. I do understand that TikTok is just trying to make the platform a safe space. And I appreciate that. It's just frustrating when videos get strikes when they really shouldn't. And then there's other videos out there that should certainly be taken down, but they're not. And as someone who's having their videos taken down over silly reasons, and then watching other people do the exact same thing or things that are far worse, it's just, 
I can't even describe it. So I am gonna try and appeal this as many times as it takes. But TikTok, if you're watching this and you wanna make your platform much safer, may I point you in this direction? Okay, well, thank you for watching yet another TikTok rant. And if you'd like to watch my other video that I'm about to upload where I'm complaining about TikTok again, feel free to click here. I'll keep you guys posted.